Building work is in progress at Rentschler Biotechnologie in Laupheim. Grandson Friedrich is showing the most interest. The company first started out in this chemist shop, which then looked rather different. The first researcher in the family developed the analgesic Melaborn and launched its production. Rentschler also developed veterinary vaccines. No one could predict that this division would later become Germany's first genetic engineering laboratory. We then sold the veterinary division, or rather, we sold the products but kept the laboratories and the technology, which ultimately was the basic know-how of biotechnology. Friedrich Rentschler was now head of the company, founding the biotechnology division in 1974 with the aim of developing pharmaceuticals. After nine years, the world's first interferon was approved for the battle against viruses. In 1989, a successful major clinical study involving beta interferon in collaboration with a U.S. company followed and was an enormous scientific success. Es ist so, dass uh, ich der Überzeugung war, I was convinced that endogenic substances play a key role, including in treating diseases. But the U.S. company kept the data from the clinical study for itself, developing its own copy of the Laubheim company's beta interferon. Friedrich Rentzler must stand by while the U.S. company rakes in billions of dollars of profit from the drug without him. It was disappointing. Friedrich Rentschler's primary concern was damage containment. My top priority was to save the company. That I did, saving and securing jobs and then continuing to expand with the expertise we had already demonstrated. The Rentschler family had learned the hard way that developing products is simply too great a risk for a medium-sized company. However, for a service provider, the risks are manageable. From now on, the company produces and develops products only as orders for clients, and there's no shortage of clients from all over the world. Whether in large or small volumes, the clients are satisfied with the quality of the pharmaceutical ingredients delivered. The company, now under the management of Nikolaus Rentschler, shows annual sales growth of around 20%. Rentschler Biotechnologie is now a world leader in this industry. However, the enormous market growth becomes a problem. To stay ahead, the company needs to dramatically expand its biotechnology division. But the company doesn't have sufficient funds for this. Father and son discuss whether to sell off part of the company to finance the expansion of the biotechnology division. Decisions like this are especially important in family-owned companies. The family is putting all its eggs in one basket, so there's a lot more blood, sweat and tears invested in the project than in other companies. The family makes the decision to sell the over-the-counter drugs division, releasing funds to expand the biotechnology division. They plan to invest 50 million euros in the company by 2008. Production volume will increase tenfold and a hundred new jobs will be created. Our company in particular does not live from the past but from the future. The future is his grandson, now getting to know the company as his father once did. I spent the first years of my life here in the company headquarters. As a child, I would hide all over the place to avoid having to go to kindergarten or school. I used to ride my little bike along the corridors, so I developed a close connection to the company from the beginning. Will Friedrich head the company one day? I want him to be able to decide for himself, the same way that I clearly understood it was a free decision. It's an opportunity for him, not an obligation. 
But for the time being, Daddy runs the company, and Friedrich concentrates on riding his tricycle.